Uh, hey guys, this is Abby from 8931B, and I am here to teach you guys about motor internals. Uh, so basically, VEX puts out three different types of gears that you can put into your 393 motors, and they all have different purposes. Um, so the first ones are torque gears. Um, these come in your motors, so if you haven't changed your motors or you know you just got them fresh out of the box, these are what are in them. Uh, these obviously have a lot of torque in them but not a lot of speed. Now you can tell these ones are um, torque gears because the input gear is a lot smaller than the output gear. Now you can tell which one are input and which one are output by looking at the tops of them. Uh, so the input one has a little circle hole in it and the output one has a square in it which is basically where the axle goes. Um, so this little gear is your input, and this larger one is your output, so that's going to be torque. And the next one is speed. Um, now speed gears um, obviously have more speed and less torque, because speed and torque are inversely proportional. So if your speed goes up, then your torque goes down. Um, but you can tell these ones are speed because the input gear and this one is slightly larger than on the torque. You guys see that right there. Um, so that is a little bit larger. Now the output gear is still bigger than the input, but because this one is bigger than the torque ones, you know these are speed. Um, the last ones are turbo gears. Um, these ones are the fastest of the three, which means that they have the lowest torque. Um, so you have to be careful with these because they burn out really easily. So if you're going to put them on like your drive or something, um, I would definitely have like six motors on your drive to make sure they don't burn out on you because that really sucks. Um, so you can tell these are turbo because the input gear is larger than the output gear. Now this is the only one where this one is actually bigger than the output. These ones are just, you compare the size of the input ones. Um, now to check your motors or to replace the gearing, um, you are going to grab your motor and remove this panel, this front panel right here. Um, there are four screws on each side, you just pop them out and then you can take this panel off and then you can see that you can just pop the gears in and out pretty easily. Um, so that's it, um, thank you guys for watching and I hope this was helpful.